This is basic instructions on how to use the image recruiting system that's built into the Bugwood image database. You'll want to start off at images.bugwood.org. This is where we place all the tools for our authors. On going to image recruiting, you'll find a list of different subjects that people have been looking for. In addition to that, you'll also see different projects people have open. To see your particular projects, click Login and sign in with your username and password. Once you're signed in, you can scroll down and the different projects that are listed may have stars next to them. If they have a star next to them, then you have permission to work in that project. The example project I'm using today is pests in, in around buildings. Going to that project, I can see a list of all the species that are currently listed. These are the different subjects that the administrators of this project have said they want to have pictures for and in the case of the things that go off to our smartphone apps they want to have articles that are related to those image sets. I'll start off by explaining the different columns and options that are available in this table and then move to how you can edit some of the options with the project. The first column in the table is wiki article name. If this is an image recruitment project that is tied to a particular set of articles for the purpose of importing that content into a smartphone app, the name of the wiki article appears here. The next column is scientific name, which indicates the scientific name of the subject. We use scientific name within the Bugwood image database in order to properly identify what it is that's featured in the images. After that, you can see a count of the number of images that are currently available for any given subject. Clicking on this takes you to a new page that shows you all the images that are currently available. It is highly recommended that before you go to select groups of pictures for your collection, you look at this to make sure that the pictures that are here are those that will fill out your collection fully so you don't have to come back to it later. The next two columns indicate whether or not there's been a set of pictures selected for this project, and if there have been, what that image number is. In the case of what we're looking at right now, all these collections currently are not complete. By clicking Show Completed Subjects at the top, I can see one entry that was previously in the list and had images selected for it. It is still a part of the project, but to help people doing the work on the project, it's been removed from the list to make things a little shorter and cleaner. The next column in the table is Recruiting Note. This allows administrators of the project to indicate what things they are currently looking for pictures of. This can help people out so they know what things are currently in need and they don't need to go through the entire set of pictures themselves in order to find out what the project administrators are looking for. To select a group of pictures for any of these particular subjects, the best option is to choose the green arrow. This takes you through all the finishing steps. First is selecting the pictures. On the left, you see all the pictures that are currently available within the Bugwood image database. Images are selected by clicking on them at left and dragging them to the right. Once you have a good set of pictures for what you're looking at, you can scroll down to the bottom and, and click Submit Image Selection. This takes you to the next section, which is ordering the images. The images can be dragged into the proper order for, for how they will display either through Image Collections Online or in the smartphone app. The picture in position number one is often referred to as the cover shot for the particular group of images. It will be used where there is one picture that's needed to highlight a particular subject. After the order is submitted, you're taken to a page where you can provide a description for the entire image set and modify the descriptions for each individual image. These modified descriptions exist only within the collection itself, so you don't have to worry about having affected anything in the main Bugwood image database. These captions will accompany the citation for the image wherever it's displayed, be that in the image collections, which we'll look at in a bit, or in the smartphone app. Clicking Submit Captions finishes out the image collection process, and you'll see that it's been removed from the list. 
Clicking show and completed subjects brings back those subjects that have been completed so that it is possible to view the individual sets. When viewing the individual sets, you can see the images and the citations that are currently available, as well as view other formats we have for viewing a different collection of pictures. These examples are the same collection of pictures, just viewed in a different format to allow users a different experience when interacting with the image sets. Each of these image sets is fully shareable by clicking on the link at top. This allows you to embed this particular format of this image set onto any website you want with all the images, citations, and, and captions for the images coming over. If at any point you edit the group of pictures later, those same changes will be sent out to any, of, any website that's embedding that content. So it allows for content to be edited in one central location and updated wherever it's being used. We will be providing statistics on where the image sets are being posted so that we can give users and creators of the image sets better information on how their work is being utilized across the world. After an image set has been selected, you can revisit any of the steps of selecting images, ordering them, or providing them captions by selecting the different icons that appear. If at any time you want to remove a subject from a particular project, the button at the end will do that. If you see that you're missing a subject from this project and you'd like to add it, there is an option at the top of the page to add subjects to the list. This lookup uses both common names and scientific names to help you find what subject you're actually looking for. It is possible from this lookup to select multiple subjects, so you don't have to submit and come back to this page multiple times to add in a, a list of things that you're interested in. For those using image recruitment projects in order to work on a smartphone app, we also do have the text that accompanies any of these subjects contained within the Bugwood Wiki. As mentioned previously, the wiki article name connects the collection of images to a particular article. In the case of some articles, like ticks around buildings, this one article is linked to several subjects. When the routine we use for our apps compiles the images and the content that's supposed to go with it, it groups these subjects by the article name and combines the image sets. Any wiki article title with an asterisk next to it indicates that it is a default wiki article name that was generated by the system when the subject was added. To edit any of these wiki article names, this icon on the right brings up a dialog to allow you to edit. We also list common rules for naming articles that many of our users follow in order to make sure that articles are at the same location regardless of who's working on it. This allows groups working on similar subjects to potentially share articles, so it's not required for any one group to write every article for those species that will be used in their application. Most of our image procurement projects feature multiple individuals working on the same project. To add someone to your project, click Edit Project Info. And then in the drop down at the bottom, start typing their name. Clicking on their name puts them into the box that you can then update the project info to add them to the project. To remove an individual, select the checkbox next to their name and update project information again. To edit the wiki articles associated with any of these image collections, you'll notice an icon on the right with a W on it. If the W is blue, it means the article already exists within the Bugwood Wiki. If it is red, the article does not. Clicking on any of the W's takes you directly to that article within the Bugwood Wiki. The Bugwood Wiki and the Image Recruitment System currently do not share logins. So once on the Wiki, it is necessary to log in again. This is a shortcoming of the system we hope to correct in the future. However, once logged into the Wiki, you can edit this article to the extent that you want, and any content there will be added into the app when we compile the data package that goes into it. That is the basic functionality of the image recruiting system. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at bugwood at uga.edu.